what's up? It's uh, Wick for Wikimedia Tutorials, and today I'm going to talk about harmonics. I think I've asked the question why that an A note on a piano sounds different than an A note on a guitar, even though they're both playing an A note. This has got to do with the harmonic content. The harmonic content of a sound can be uh, categorized in two groups, and that is the fundamental frequency, which is the sine wave which determines the pitch of the sound, and then we have the harmonics, which are the sine waves that are whole multiple numbers of the fundamental frequency. The fundamental frequency of an A2 note is 110 Hz. The harmonics would then be at 220, which is the second harmonic and exactly an octave up. Then we've got 330, which happens to be an A4 note, that is the third harmonic. The fourth harmonic is again an octave higher. So you can see that a doubling in frequency represents an octave. The seventh is an unrelated pitch, and the eleventh again is an unrelated pitch. And that simply means that our ears really can't relate a pitch to it. Let's take a listen at the harmonic skill of this A2 note. So in this project I'm going to take a look at the fundamental frequency and I'm going to take a look at the instrument sound and I'm going to compare that with a frequency analyzer so you can see the harmonics. We've just seen that the distance between an A2 and an A3 is a doubling in frequency. This is called an octave and it's perceived by our ears as being the same pitch. So an A2 is at 110 Hz, an A3 is at 220, an A4 is at 440 and an A5 is at 880 Hz. I made some of these charts which can be really helpful, so uh, you can download these really soon from the website wikimedia.net. When our audio signal travels through an electronic device, and this can be any type of audio processor, we ideally want the input to be identical to the output, but this is not the case. Every processor adds some harmonics that were not present in the input signal. This has got to do with the nature of the components, but since these added harmonics are a distortion of the input signal, we refer to this as harmonic distortion. The harmonic distortion of a device is expressed in a percentage. In the specifications of a device, this is referred to as THD, or Total Harmonic Distortion. I'm going to perform a test where I'm going to run a sine wave through a uh, compressor in this case. And I'm going to use the TL Audio compressor, the 5021, and it's uh, completely neutralized, so it's not compressing or doing anything. I'm just running the signal through it. So that is uh, really what an uh, electronic device does. So when people talk about the warmth of analog sound, it is really because there's uh, harmonics being added by the device and its uh, components. In this example, I've used a model which uses tubes. If you're gonna look at the difference between a tube and a transistor, it's that the tube will sound a lot warmer because it adds more of the even harmonics and transistor designed equipment uh, normally adds the high odd harmonics, which in turn will sound more harsh and more cold. So I hope you've learned something about the harmonics today. I'm going to continue with more stuff about frequencies and uh, equalizers in the next episode. And I uh, hope to see y'all soon. Peace.